The ideas expressed in the following presentations are those of the speakers and do not necessarily reflect the views of ACI or its committees. ACI web sessions are recorded at ACI conventions or other concrete industry events and will be made available for viewing free of charge for one week. Thereafter, they will be archived on the ACI website or added to ACI's online CEU program, depending on their content. Good afternoon. Thank you all for being here. You've heard a bunch of great presentations from some really smart people who have really outstanding laboratories. And to quote the guys at Monty Python, and now for something completely different. We're going to talk about particle packing from a rock's perspective. I'd like you to meet Rocky. Rocky is a, uh, is, uh, a, attends the University of Colorado at Boulder, where he's captain of the football team which of course makes Rocky the big rock on campus. Being on the football team, Rocky has a lot of friends. No, not that Rocky. That Rocky. Rocky has a lot of friends. Uh, for the most part, Rocky hangs out with his fellow football players, guys like Stoney or Cornelius Aloysius, or CA for short, or the big lineman, Boulder. You thought it was awesome having a refrigerator on the front line? Well, now we've got a boulder. He doesn't move very fast, but nobody pushes him out of the way. Rocky and his teammates are all members of a local fraternity, Rho Omega Kappa, or Rock. The Rock House has all the amenities, including a swimming pool out back. During their spare time, Rocky and his friends like nothing better to hang out by the pool and drink mineral water and sometimes hard liquor. At a pool party, all of Rocky's friends would jump into the pool and have a good time. But there was a problem. If too many of Rocky's friends jumped in at the same time, it became obvious that nobody could move. So, if the guys at the bottom wanted to get out of the pool and drink some more mineral water, they had a hard time. They were stuck at the bottom, uh, and also, swim time at the bottom of the pool was boring. Of course, whenever you have football players, oh, I said it wrong, boring. Anybody get that one? Never, never mind. Um, now I'd like you to meet Sandy. Of course, being football players, Rocky and his friends had lots of uh, cheerleaders around them. And this is Sandy, who's Rocky's girlfriend, and she's the captain of the cheerleading squad. Sandy is the girl next door with a real natural look about her. Like Rocky, Sandy has lots of friends. This is Dusty. She's a little flaky, but all the guys have a crush on her. Sandy and Dusty are members of the Sigma Nu Delta sorority. Diversity is important at Sigma Nu, and, it's come, and it has a lot of foreign students, like Arena from Mexico or Wadi from Saudi Arabia. Wadi has an exotic, sultry look about her, and all the boys think she is really fine. Of course, the Sigma Nu Delta sorority also has some great parties, and whenever people attend the parties, they always have a blast. So now all the Sigma Nu parties are called Sand Blasts. Rocky quickly discovered that if he invited Sandy and her friends to the pool parties, all his football buddies, buddies were happy to make room for the cute girls, so they'd spread out. A side benefit of including the girls was that the conversation of Rock, at Rocky's parties tended to flow better. In addition, after the girls were in the pool, Rocky found he didn't need as much water to fill the pool. Water's very expensive in Boulder, uh, and Rocky was glad the frat house didn't have to spend as much money on their pool parties. Now that the girls were there, Rocky's parties would never be boring again. I think that was going over most people's heads. But even though the girls had joined the pool party, Rocky still thought the parties were too expensive because of the high cost of water. He decided to talk the matter over with his tutor, Chip. 
Chip was a valued member of the Rockies team. Since the football players spent so much time practicing football, they didn't have as much time to study. All the football players had tutors like Chip. Now, Chip and his friends weren't as big and athletic as Rocky and his friends. In fact, they were usually sort of small and nerdy, but they were really smart. After he thought about it for a while, Chip came up with a good idea. It was a little bit strange and definitely self-serving. What if Chip and all of his nerd buddies joined in at the pool party? Chip told Rocky that would redu this would reduce the amount of water needed for the pool because Chip and his friends could fit in between Rocky and his friends. Now, Chip had a little bit of uh, experience with this. On Saturday nights, they'd all go out to the bar. They had a relaxation bar, or the rebar as they called it. And all the football players would get up lined around the bar, and so at one point, at some point, no more football players could get around the bar. But Chip and his small friends could fit through the football players, and they could get up to the bar, and they could get their drinks. So anyway... Um, lo and behold, it turned out Chip was right. Adding the right number of tutors really did reduce the amount of water used in the pool while still allowing the guests to move around. Chip tried to explain the, the reason for this was because of things called packing density and surface area, but Rocky didn't really understand it. In any case, he didn't care. After a while, Chip discovered that it was important to invite the right kind and number of tutors to the pool party. If you invited too many tutors to the pool party, the conversations became too technical and stiff. If you didn't invite enough, then there weren't enough tutors to help the football players while they studied, and the partiers tended to drink too much water. Also, like the football players, it turned out that some of Rocky's friends were smoother than others. Uh, and could actually talk to Sandy and her friends. This made conversation and the party tend to flow better. But if the tutors were too flaky, Chip couldn't invite too many of them, otherwise the party conversation would grind to a halt. By getting the right mix of football players, cheerleaders, and tutors, Rocky and Chip were, about, were really able to cut back on the amount of water necessary to full, fill the pool. It was time to call in the most popular guy on campus, Tyrone, the team's quarterback. Tyrone was the finest person around, but a real type 1A personality. In fact, the team all called Tyrone type 1. When he showed up at a party, he seemed to be everywhere at once. And there. don't know if you saw the change in color up there at the pool. It's now gray. There were two problems with including Type 1 at the pool party. Uh, since, he was, since he was the hotshot quarterback, Type 1 expected the best of everything, so it was very expensive to invite him to the party. Also, when Type 1 finally got into the water and spread out a bit, he tended to get set in his ways, and it was hard getting him out of the pool. Rocky soon discovered that if there was too much water in the pool, Tyra, uh, Type 1 couldn't handle it and would later fall apart in the middle of the game. Rocky also discovered that when there was very little water in the pool, Type 1 would really set up and the other team couldn't bring him down. And whenever Type 1 came to the pool party, he always liked to try and bring his friend, Flash. Now, um, uh, Flash is a little bit different. He's one of the smallest guys on the team. He's one of the smallest nerds and everybody uh, uh, at first didn't care very much for him. However, Flash had a very high opinion to him about himself. He thought he was really cool, and he would go around and tell everybody, I'm Fly, I'm Fly. Of course, nobody thought he did. Nobody wanted to call him Fly Ash, so they decided to call him Flash. Whoops. They decided to call him Flash. And, uh, but they soon found out that Flash wasn't very speedy. He was a lot like Boulder. When you gave him something to think about, it took him a while to get going. But when he did, he was really smart, and he found out ways to improve Rocky's performance and the rest of the team's performance. And whenever Flash got involved in a play, the play typically turned out to be a whole lot better. Also, when some of the football players got hotheads, Flash would tend to cool things down. So, um, Rocky's final uh, problems began after the epic game 
uh, with the University of Arkansas at Little Rock, or UROC, as everyone called them. Rocky's team knew the UROC players were a bunch of lightweights, even though they did look big on the line. The UROC quarterback, Clay, was all puffed up and trying to look impressive. The UROC coach, Stephen Hale, or Shale as they called him, threw everything at Rocky's team that he could think of, but Rocky and his teammates crushed them 63-0. to zero. To celebrate, Rocky decided to throw the best pool party ever. He and his teammates all showed up. Sandy and the cheerleaders all came too. Chip got all the right nerds to attend. The amount of water necessary to fill the pool was at an all-time low. Type 1 showed up and took over the pool and brought his friend Flash and his buddies. Everyone relaxed and had a great time and settled in for a great party. Things got pretty hot for a while, but after everyone cooled off, Rocky realized there was a problem. Type 1 was having such a great time, he never wanted to leave. And if Type 1 didn't leave, then nobody else did either. In the end, to make a long story short, they never could get Type 1 out of the pool, so they turned the pool into a basketball court. This was a real problem for Rocky and his friends because everyone knows rocks can't jump. Uh, thank you very much. And I would like to uh, offer an, uh, some acknowledgments also. Uh, two people who have really influenced me in thinking outside the ready mix truck, if you will, are uh, Dr. Ken Hover, uh, who was here but is not, apparently got called out, and also Tyler Lay. If you haven't seen Tyler's Hydration Theater, on uh, YouTube, you've really missed something, so go out back to YouTube and look at Hydration Theater. I think you'll find that it's very interesting. And of course, in the immortal words of Barney the Dinosaur, use your imagination. Thank you.